All right, freshman business multimedia pathway, awesome people. This is how you finalize your project for the acrostic name poem video. So at this point, we have our PowerPoint presentation. You have your animations, you have your transitions, you have pictures of you, you have your word cloud on slide two, not slide three, like it shows right here. Anyways. So at this point, before you can make this into a video, you have to actually rehearse the timings. So what that does is it actually moves your slides along at the time that matches your voice recordings. So how we do that is we go to slideshow and we rehearse the timings like so. And what it does is we have this clock in the corner here and it will tell you how long it takes to do everything in your slides. So right now, can't hear it because it's on the big screen. I'll fix that. <laughs> so everything on that slide is finished. I'm happy with it. I move to the next slide. Here's slide number two. We'll start. Sometimes and my voiceover my will go, so you might hear that in the background. For me, this is absolutely true. Okay, so I'm happy with that slide, and we keep going. All right. So at the very end of your presentation, yours is going to be much more than 43 seconds, but it'll say, you know, here's your slideshow. Do you want to save it that way? And you're going to say yes. Okay, at that point, you are ready to convert this into a video. So now the video part is you go to export, you go to create video, and you create the video right here and what that's going to do is convert this PowerPoint into an MP4 type of video and that's what we want. Okay, so that's that part. Now, once you have your video part, well let's talk about music for a second. So, I told you guys about this website, Purple Planet, I told you guys about Ben Sound. Um, some of you asked about doing instrumentals like off of YouTube so like for this one for instance it's like a jazz thing the way you would get that off of YouTube is to copy this share link and then go to this website called download youtube.com I believe it's called no listen to youtube.com that's what it is okay and so this extracts music from YouTube videos and you press go and here's where people get tricked all the time don't click an ad there's ads all over the place you want to download right here where it says click here and this will take you to this page and this big blue download button is the one that you want don't get tricked by the ad so you'll download it and if you're using Chrome like you should, it'll go down here and you'll see MP3. So that's all good. So now, let's show you a video editor that we can use. And the one that I would like you to use is WeVideo. I'm going to log out so I can show you what it looks like. And we're going to log in. We're going to log in with Google. We're going to log in with my Gmail account with the BHS Knight. And... Here's what the dashboard looks like. Now if I want to create a video, I'm going to do create new. Let's get me out of the way. Press next. And this is what it looks like. So this area right here is where you want to upload all your stuff to. And by stuff I mean your converted PowerPoint video and also your music track so to do that you import media right here so you find where you saved them I already have them sitting here so right down here we're gonna put our video and then we're gonna put our music on the audio track and then we're gonna test it out and see if it sounds good Okay, so one thing you'll want to check is the audio track isn't too loud for your voice, so this is where you would adjust the volume 
of the music track so that you can still hear your voice. If it's too loud like this, you'll see all we can hear is the music and you can't hear my voice from the video. So we'll fix that. Probably, you know, 60% is pretty good. Maybe a little less, depending on what song you use. So you'll adjust that, and we're almost done. So see how our song right here is a little too long? It doesn't match our video. So we click on our music track, and we drag it back so they match. We watch the whole show to make sure we're happy with it. And then the very last step is to click finish. You'll title your slide something that's not my video. So I'm going to call mine the chain story. The best story ever told. Okay. And you set that title. We want 720p, which is an HD. And that's it. That's how you, you finish your video like that. If you have questions about that process, of course, come back to this video, and that will conclude this tutorial. Have fun. Get that grade up for this first quarter. Peace out.